while the president uh, called the impeachment inquiry against him uh, a quote lynching Trump tweeted all Republicans must remember what they are witnessing here a lynching and fellow Republican Senator Lindsey Graham agrees with the president's assessment take a look I think that's pretty well accurate this is a sham this is a joke I'm going to let the whole world know that if we were doing this to a Democratic president, he would be all over me right now. So, yeah, this is a lynching in every sense. This is un-American. On the other hand, many Democrats and even some Republicans are outraged by the comparison, like Susan Collins, who tweeted, lynching brings back images of a terrible time in our nation's history, and the president never should have made that comparison. Now, first and foremost, I know, DBL Nation, that you guys are sick of talking about Trump. We feel you, we hear you, but we think this is different. This comes from a place that is causing a lot of pain, considering our horrific history uh, and racial injustices. So what would you say to that, Al? I would say I, I don't allow this president to cause me any pain. I don't think that he cares enough to even know what he's doing. I think he just says things. And I think that he doesn't mind saying racial things because he knows that will distract from what we're really talking about. I, it's, it's almost like we've all had partners that we didn't get along with that said abusive things to get you off track. If, if you ask them, hey, where's that 50 bucks that was in my purse? And they say, whatever, you're just gaining weight. They want you to go the other way, so what you do is I don't do that. I don't, ca I don't care what his opinions are about lynching. I care about us moving forward and not getting bogged down in this nonsense. I'm not going to let this human dictate how I go about the world, and I hope more people can understand that. Well, and I agree with you, Al. Um, I'm always saying that all of these things, especially when they're racially insensitive, um, are really a way of distracting us. But I actually um, agree with Lindsey Graham. This is very un-American, or uh, about it being un-American, because what is more American than lynching? Uh, the fact of the matter is, the last person on record was lynched in 1981. He was 19 years yeah. old in Mobile, Alabama. Mm -hmm. That was the year I was born. Um, when you're speaking about lynching, you're talking about without any trial or or any type of justice. Just some people decided to take someone, and most of the time they were dead by the time that they got to the tree to be hung and celebrated by an entire town who just had, like, it was a fair. Like, it was a fair. So the idea that you would use a word like that and double down is very targeted. It's very much on purpose, and I agree. It's about a distraction. But the reason why I want to speak on it is because we're also going to be talking about the fact that white supremacist groups are targeting young people who weren't around in 1981 or don't understand why lynching and knowing the history of our country is important. And it's always important to know your history because if you don't know your history, then you're destined to repeat it. And let me be very clear when I say destined to repeat it, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the same. So when we talk about protecting people, People, we have to protect everyone because if we don't call things out for what they are, then I am going to continue to say this. No one is safe. No one.